Hey guys, I'm Jonathan Power, and I'm happy to be introducing you guys to a little bit about deception. I think uh, deception is a big part of my game. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I was a young young guy. Once upon a time, and uh, and all I love to do is uh, trick people and show one thing, do another, and really love the sort of fun part of squash. And I think with any sport, uh, we all love that type of stuff. But then. As I progressed in the game of squash and, and got past just uh, the deception for tricks and stuff like that, I started lose, using the functionality of deception and the functionality of deception to make the guy tired or to really create better opportunities for yourself became a huge part of my game and a huge part of my winning game as I progressed through the levels. So. Uh, I think it was sort of unique at the time to, uh, to be able to implement uh, an attacking game or a different type of game uh, going back to, to when I was playing sort of mid, mid to late 90s. I think when it, when it started it was probably uh, mid, mid 90s when I started with really the deception as a, as a functional part of the game. So what I mean by that is I was using it always to put a hold on the guy to make him run twice to every ball. So I wasn't necessarily the fittest guy in tour. That's that's for sure. We can we can all agree on that one. But I could definitely make the person run twice to every ball if if I was playing well and I was on the ball early. So the key to deception is getting on the ball early and being able to show one thing and then do another. Get him to do a little jab step, put pressure on his legs, and then force him back into one of the four corners. So uh, I, I want to go through a number of uh, different points on how you do that and how you implement it as a, a functional part of your squash game and not so much about uh, the trick shots and stuff like that. Well, those are fun and that's what got me into it. But uh, as we move through this, uh, I'll, I'll show you all kinds of different ways to implement deception into your game.